All right, welcome everybody. This is the Heat Team Call and it is the second Tuesday of the month. And our second Tuesday of the month always has a featured speaker that has wisdom to impart in all kinds of areas. And they get to tell their story and how they journeyed and usually they'll do even maybe a little training. Our fourth Tuesday of the night is generally a little bit more specific and it's designed for sales coordinators and above. But I think we're going to be in for a real treat tonight. I am so excited, Beverly, to have you on this call. I know I've got a formal bio, which I'm going to read just a little bit of, but I have some personal things that I need to say about you. Are you so don't <laughs> hold your breath or hold your breath. <laughs> so first of all, um, Beverly and Johnny have been married for 19 years. We just discovered they have no fur babies, no human babies, but they love their plants. So all in the world as well, they're contributing. They're graduates of Florida A&M University. They were in the United States Army Veteran and Civil Servant Masters in Professional Coaching. Hoo-ha, Beverly is just amazing. A lean certified health coach, project manager, civil engineer with the US Army Corps of Engineers, AKA the GQ Farmer. <laughs> I love that. 15 years experience providing health and wellness education, owners of Premier Health and Wellness Consulting. National Marketing Director and Qualifying Senior Sales Coordinator, which is what Johnny is in his first month to obtain SSC, <laughs> and loves the Lord, people, and believes teamwork makes the dream work, one team, one mission. So before you get into it, I'm going to give you one more minute. I'm going to, I'm going to take one more minute, Beverly, because, and I'm going to put you on big instead of me. I don't want to be looking at me anymore. So you and Johnny are going to be spotlighted. Oh, there we go. So and what I really want to say is, first of all, any of you that knows Beverly, sometimes you won't recognize her because she has 100 different hairdos, right? Seriously, big hairdos, braided hairdos, short hairdos, long hairdos. That's the fun of Beverly. And Johnny just smiles the whole time. He's right there backing her up. But I have to tell you, when we had our motor home, we traveled and saw them in Savannah, right? And we parked our motor home and we stayed with them. And it was one of my highlights of the trip being with the two of them. We were analyzing their business. We had papers spread out all over the table. They were just so good to us. They took us all different places and they're the ones that had us go to Tybee Island, which was the highlight of our motor home trip as well. Chris just walked in. So my camera's not working on my <laughs> hey, Johnny. I, I cannot tell you how much Beverly. we love you, Beverly and Johnny, how much we've followed you and watched you and prayed for you over the years. And your generosity and your love of people always has shown through. And so I'm going to turn this over to you for, for the group to hear um, how many years it took you to get here, what it was like, the journey, and what tips of wisdom you have. And I'm done. Wow. Well, look, y'all, it's just an honor to be on the Heat Team call. Yay. <laughs> I'm oh, excited I didn't even say that. that. Our newest NMD. I didn't even say the most important thing. Our newest <laughs> NMD. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with me? Our newest Heat <laughs> NMD. Woo! Yes. Team Heat rocks. That's right. And so, Nikki, Chris, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been shining examples for the 15 years. That's how long it took 15 years for us to get at this stage of where we are. And, you know, that's one of our highlights, that, that, that RV trip that you guys took across the country and spent some time with us, fit us into your schedule to just love on us. And that's what we appreciated. Every conference, you know, it's just like a family reunion, honestly, that we get to see. And then of our leaders that they're truly, you know, they embody all of the, um, what the company says, you know, authentic, they are approachable. And, you know, there's longevity. And I, I just love everything about, you know, this journey. And, and that truly has been what it is. So many of you already know our story. So we're going to truly abbreviate the story because we definitely want to hone in on the journey that, that this has been. And, you know, I, I honestly, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I just tell people, it's all God's timing. And I'm at a super grateful space in life right now, y'all. And so I want this for everybody, okay? So you guys know, like I said, it's been 15 years with the company, but a 17 year journey. That's when it started when I was actually in the army, jumping out of perfectly good airplanes, running four or five miles a day, thought I was bionic woman, wonder woman. And it was chronic fatigue after my Afghanistan tour, couldn't shake it back and forth to the doctors. In January 05, when half my face went numb, half my taste sensory disappeared, couldn't lift anything with my right hand. They had to run further tests. They ruled out 
just about everything and landed on uh, autoimmune MS. Completely life altering, career ending. Y'all, I loved the military. I had a very successful career. Plan A, B, C was the military. And um, <laughs> that was a blow. When I say low moment in life, because I had plans to make my Brigadier General star and go as far as I could possibly go in the military, I, I just knew that was gonna be my life. And so I tell everybody in every call that I do now is, you know, be good to your neighbors, get to know your neighbors because those neighbors were the people who introduced us to this amazing product and company. And I will tell you that what they shared with us on that night was the power of whole food plant-based eating because they understood that that chronic fatigue could, could, could get turned around by eating whole foods. And so what they shared with us completely made sense. We knew our body needed more nutrition to fight whatever was going on. So guess what? We made some major lifestyle changes. Definitely a lot of prayer, um, yoga, de-stressing life. Definitely, you know, you know, today I tell everybody I am all plant-based and I, and I love it. And I tell people I'm turning fabulous 50 and I'm excited about life, y'all. Oh my goodness. So needless to say, those lifestyle changes 15 years later, for, fast forward my story, completely you know in control of my health you can tell i have all my energy back and in 15 years and only three times have i had to take any type of like hard card drugs to include tinyl motion or aspirin because i understand now the importance of how food is medicine and so like you heard nikki say in that introduction and thank you for the intro nikki i you know wow it's it's been a lot it's been 15 years of getting to know people and we had some guests come and um that we were at the, the in Tennessee celebrating the JP Live and the guests that came were like, are y'all relationships real? And we're like, it's been 15 years. Should they not be? Like I've watched Nikki and Chris's kids grow up. Tyra, my sponsor, Weeby, uh, um, exe executive marketing director, and, um, you know, I've watched Lenora and her kids grow up, our presidential marketing director. And so, yes, and we've been to each other's homes and they've been to my homes and I love that. And so it's been a real family. And so um, I tell people, because you heard Nikki's intro, that this is a true story of an officer and a gentleman. So Johnny will tell the rest of the story and then we'll get busy. <laughs> well, hello, Team Heat. Um, I'll simply say, as, as Beverly mentioned, we got thrust into this whole health situation because of her diagnosis. But as we were in the hospital, they pretty much said, hey, here's three drugs we want you to look at. One, she would have given herself a shot every day, one a shot every other day, and a third uh, shot every month that hadn't gotten approved yet. But before we left the hospital, they said it's only a 50-50 chance either of those drugs might work. So when we got to our neighbor's house, they said, hey, you can beat this, but it's in your diet. Get rid of all white pasta, white sugar, white flour, eat more fruits and vegetables, and that's when they introduced us to the Juice Plus product. And then they showed us a picture of the son's x-ray where he had a stage four brain tumor about the size of a grapefruit. And they had only given him three months to live, but he was already around five or six years at that point. So the decision we were made was that, hey, we might as well at least try this because if it doesn't work, we can always go back to the medications. And so that's how we began. And even though we we're focusing on Beverly's situation, I had been diagnosed with Crohn's disease, which is an intestinal disorder or chronic inflammation. And I had just given some blood work. So when it was time for my follow-up visit, Beverly suggests I get a copy of all my previous blood work, which I had never done before. And I figured that, hey, if the doctor didn't call me saying, get in here right now, I figured everything was okay anyway. But as I started there looking at the blood work, I realized I had all these H's and L's all over the place because, you know, they give the highs and lows. And, uh, and after about 45 days, all those highs were down the range and all those lows were up in the range. So even with the additional lifestyle changes we made, that was significant. And as an engineer, I'm used to looking at graphs and charts all the time because they paint a picture. But what it did for me was it identified something I already knew to be true, which was a chronic inflammation, but then it was correcting all those other little things I had no clue about. So that was uh, significant. And in these last 15 years, we constantly just tell our stories uh, and share people right where they are because we realize everybody's body is different. Everybody's going through something totally different, but we realize there's no situation where good nutrition won't help. It's like poor nutrition won't hinder. And so that's just been an awesome thrill for us. And it was a great introduction to our business. Yeah. So, Woo! you know, <laughs> thanks, Diggy. So the journey, right? 15 years. And so some of you, especially if you're new on the call, should definitely be asking, so why did it take y'all so long, right? Yeah, good. I, thanks for asking. I'm glad you did. So number one is... We honestly spent too much time wanting it more for people than they wanted it for themselves. Y'all just stop it. We, we got the t-shirt, been there, done it. So we're trying to save you now and love people where they're at. 
okay? And stop chasing, because we did a lot of this, the broke, sick, and tired, okay? Whether that's financially, mentally, physically, stop chasing them. They will come back around. And so when we, our first conference, you remember our first conference? Our first conference, y'all, woo! We walked in there, and it was in Tennessee. Was it Memphis? Nashville. So Nashville was our first conference. And I'm not playing. We walked in there and we were like, whoa, there is something wrong with this picture. We could count how many black people on maybe one, possibly two hands. And we were like, whoa. And then yeah. just one hand. <laughs> and then we go to Atlanta and I'm excited because whew, I'm like, I'm going to see black people. This is wonderful. This is exciting. A room of 300 people, about 10. We brought about six of those. And we were like, mm, something's really wrong. So, you know, our mission back then, of course, was, you know, our people need the help. But it's so, it's so much bigger than that, right? And so don't ever limit yourself. And that's another thing I would definitely say, don't limit yourself because we know we have a product that absolutely works. That's a no brainer. Facts tell, stories sell. You heard Johnny say, that's what we've been doing for 15 years. Most of y'all know our story. You know, it's better than our, then, 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 then you know your own story, which you should not. You should know your story. It's the same story. People ask, so does your story change? No, our story isn't going to change because it's our story. It's our journey and it's real. And that's what you have got to connect to. So 15 years, right? And I tell you, this personal and professional development that has transpired over the years. I promise you that you, when you get here, it is your time. And it is, this has been a goal that I've been chasing for 15 years. When I went to my first conference, I heard the stories and I already knew, oh, I could do that. If you had paid me to tell me that it would have taken me 15 years to do this, I would have told you you're crazy. I think one of the things was developing your why. You know, initially it was all about, you know, is Beverly going to be healthy enough? You know, when they showed us this, the lesions in her brain, you know, as my wife doesn't know who, who I who I am in the morning. You know, and so as we, as we got beyond that and she started getting her energy back and things started improving, we started seeing the power of this nutrition and how, how the community had come together and realized there were so many more people that needed to hear the message that we, we learned. And so that became our embarking upon that mission was one of the things that drove us to make sure that people who really need to have this information we're getting it. And, it and we realized in some cases if it wasn't for us telling them they would never get it and so that became a driving factor a driving force which continued on the mission and as we continue to help people improve their, li their lives and their lifestyles and, and bring it on other people we realized that this really is a mission worth embarking upon and so um, we we're just happy and thrilled to do that but that why continued to uh, happen it continued to drive and it continued to develop and so it, your why too is one of the things you have to know because that's what's going to get you up uh, when everybody's telling you no, that's what's going to keep you going when you really don't feel like it and life is beating you down. You have to know your why and that's why it has to be strong enough. And oftentimes it has to be something other than just money itself. Yeah. So. And so for the first two years, you know, I made it to sales coordinator. It took me two years. Yeah. For you guys new on the, on the, on the call, right. It should not, it should take you like three months express track. Right. Definitely. And um, Johnny is right. I, I was still reeling off of, I can't believe I'm no longer in the military. <laughs> what am I going to do with my life? And so that was a hard transition, y'all. That really was. And this business, guess what? Is not military. This is a volunteer force. <laughs> and although you're supposed to be volunteering in the military, no, I had a, as a captain, I had much power to absolutely make or break somebody's career. And I can't do that here. So, you know, a lot of lessons learned to learn how to effectively communicate with people, right? So, and then one thing that Johnny had come from another business before. So he was very familiar with this world. I had never been in this business before. Some of you don't even know. My daddy was in NSA in 1988, y'all. Yes, with the water filters. And they, a lot of people jumped ship when they flagged to the um, Juice Plus company. And I, you know, clown him every day. Like, dude, had you just stayed in? Oh my gosh, like, I wouldn't be talking. You know, I'd be like NMD 50 years ago. So anyway, Everything happens for a reason and we're on the journey we are for, for such as a time as this. And what, what Johnny was accustomed to was a lot of events. So we knew that events would build your business and we love events. 
we do a lot of events and anybody and any of the leaders will tell you that events will build your business, period, point blank. And those events could even be a connection call, okay? Because the bangers on my team, there was like, I mean, really, my players were amazing that got us here. And a lot of those players, believe it or not, y'all, were have been with me for a, quite some time like some of them 10 years and that that's not heard of a lot of times and that was just a blessing to happen but it, it's people are going to come into your life reason season time and purpose okay and the time that we thought that we like we made q and md in 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 um 2016 and we were like okay this is really exciting the the momentum is picking up and we're gonna it's gonna happen for us but guess what life events happen. I tell people today, stop saying when this happens or, you know, when the kids get out of school or when the kids get into school or, you know, when, when this event happens or this puts y'all start living in the present because there is no such thing as the next or when their life is going to continue happening. You're going to put something down and something is going to pick it up. I hear retirees say all the time, I'm busier now than when I was working. What, what in the world? Okay. So I tell people, and this is something else I learned, and I don't know where I heard it from. I want to give Carrie Daigle credit for it, but I'm not really sure who said it, but I heard on a, one of the calls. You know, if you want to live in the past, then you're going to be depressed. If you want to live in the future, you're going to have anxiety. The present is where it's at. And so live in the present and care about the people today who we can influence. We cannot influence what's going on in the nation at all. There is, we can't control that. But what I can control is my activity, my activity every day, that DMO that we do to make sure that you're touching your business every day. So got to have smart goals, right? With yeah. timeframes. Because, you know, you got to think about it from the standpoint of if you don't know which direction you're going and you know, you, you're on 95, in our case, we say 95 uh, north and you're in Jacksonville, but you want to really get to Miami. It, it, 95, I-95 is the right interstate, but you are going in totally the wrong direction. So you have a smart goal. You have to be going 95 south in order to get to Miami from Jacksonville. So joining on board, having these goals, it gives you a direction. It gives you something that you can target and it gives you a time frame by which you are going. So, you know, if you're on, on course or not. And so, you know, being able to do that, making it realistic and uh, time dependent are all those things that are really necessary. So you can duplicate what you're trying to do and you're not out there flapping, wasting time, not being efficient or effective in that. So, so just being busy, not doing income producing activities. Don't do that. Okay, because I, I have one of my partners, I talked to her today and she literally shared, I literally found out that I was just being busy, being busy. Okay, so don't do that. Um, consistent. My leaders will absolutely tell you, we have been absolutely consistent. I have not ever given up on Juice Plus and I tell everybody, I don't care what you do, you better pay your $52 a year to stay on the books because guess what, the company is amazing, you don't even lose your promotion standing. Are you kidding me? So whether you're going to do a little or a lot, you definitely need to be consistent with whatever you do. Yes, now I did turn a lot of people away in the beginning, being the food police and, you know, chasing people down and I want it more for you than you want it for yourself. No, y'all love people where they are at. Believe it or not, doing a little bit consistently over time is a lot more than doing nothing all of the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I could have given up a long time ago. Okay. Let me have some real talk here because- you know, being just one, and, and if you didn't know, this is history for the company, okay? Team Heat has absolutely made history for the company because I'm the first African-American female to make it to this level that we have heard of. Nobody in 50 years can, can bring up another black female um, African-American that has done this. Even more historic, believe it or not, because I don't know why they think people, black people don't spend money. We spend money, but we do. The, the players that took us to national marketing director are all black. That's amazing. And I'm just so proud of my team because it takes a team of like-minded, like-hearted people who see a bigger vision. They want it not only for themselves, but for the team. And we had amazing team. Y'all don't give up on people. Okay, love them where they're at, but don't give up on them. I, mean, I didn't say don't give up on yourself either. You know, oftentimes people, you know, we could have quit this business numerous times. We realized that the goal that we set 
hadn't been accomplished yet. You know, the, the mission that still needed to be accomplished and having a military background and military bearing with that, we realized the mission was even bigger than ourselves. It was making sure not only people we knew immediately uh, had the opportunity for better health and better wealth, but it just changed their life to, to, to know that there's current circumstances doesn't have to dictate the future, so. Yep. So don't give up, okay? Because you never, you, you're gonna you're gonna find those golden nuggets, y'all. They're gonna come because it took a spark, okay? It took a couple of things this year because I will tell you we were nowhere close. When Chris and Nikki Cotton take a look at my um, twelve month analysis, it is mind blowing what our team absolutely did. Of course, to come join us, Blitz with the um with the company did in April was huge. We brought in like ninety seven um, partners that month. Uh, of course, they're you know they're not all working, but that was the momentum that started. And then, you know, I have to give a, a Latasha Oliver. She's a um, now POV sales coordinator that came in in April. And um, she was the spark that, that, that the team needed. And she was driven and she still is driven. And, um, and then there was Tamika who had been, who had actually left the company and come back. Okay. And then Wendy who would actually take a slow down because life events was happening. Okay. And came, and then I had Sanja and Erlene who completely just loves on us and just wanted to support us who are still PB sales coordinators and, um, and, and Yolanda, oh my goodness. And that is a story in itself y'all for another time. Yolanda had massive tragedy happen and still was able to pull out being a PB sales coordinator to help us get the, it's, it's just mind blowing. It's mind blowing y'all um, how this all transpired. And so teamwork absolutely makes a dream work. Y'all hear me say it all the time. I mean that generally, I mean, the more you give and share and that's what I'm modeling for my team, the more God is absolutely gonna bless. Care enough about people, listen, listen, listen. And don't take anything personal. If you haven't read the book, The Four Agreements yet, behind the Bible, you better read it. Okay, and don't take it personal. Everything that comes out of my mouth, you're not gonna like, okay? <laughs> because I'm straight with no chase. And so we're not gonna get along all the time. We family, we supposed to be able to fight and, 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 and move, keep it moving. And don't take it personal and don't ever make assumptions. You have a question, come and ask me directly or ask whoever you need to, to clarify. And then follow the tried and proven system. There is a system in place, the compensation plan. You're not in competition with me because if you are, you're gonna lose. I like to say that, right? Cause everybody's like, how dare her? But if I'm in competing against you, I'm gonna lose too. Because guess what? If you were supposed to, you know, you're competing against me and you beat me, you say, oh, I beat Bev. But God said you were supposed to be here. Well, <laughs> you just aimed too low. Shouldn't have been aiming and trying to beat me because you should have been way up here. So you still lost because you sold yourself short. There is a compensation plan. That is what you look at. Know your numbers. Know what you need to get to the next level. Own it and then execute it. Systems is designed to pull you through. Uh, people don't realize, it, but McDonald's is a multi-billion, billion dollar corporation. And it's operated by teenagers. It's two all beef patties, special sauce, that's cheese on a sauce, you know, sesame seed bun. And the French fry machine is always gonna be over to the left. The drink machine is gonna always be to the right. It's a system and they can do interchangeable parts. And when one child leaves school, they plug another one right into there to run that multi-billion dollar operation. So the same thing with the Juice Plus system. All the tools you need are right there in place that drive your, your business. If you follow the express track and the fast track through the system, it will pull you right through the compensation plan. So getting with your sponsors and making sure you have a team doing those activities, uh, doing those events, those are part of the system. Those are part of the tools you need to help build your business and drive you right through the, uh, the plan. Okay, last thing, all right? Because we got to have questions and answers, I guess. So if you're not having fun, don't do it. You, you better have fun. Chris and Nikki definitely are the leaders on our team for fun. They have fun. And so... That's what this is about for us. You know, I'm just at a grateful space in life, y'all. Thank you, because it, it really took, like I said, an amazing team behind God, an amazing spouse who's super supportive. So if you have a spouse, you know, and you're, or your spouse listening, you know, be supportive, whether it's male or female, however it looks. And then um, sideline support. Do I ever love my sideline support? Y'all, sometimes sidelines have to talk me off that ledge. And so lock arms, Jennifer Straub. I mean, she's right. She's, she's, she's going to be NMD this month. And I'm excited about that because we came up together and, and wow, we can bounce off so many things from each other. But there's just, just so many. Um, Michelle and Nelani, my mastermind group that, you know, we can share a lot and 
just, you know, yeah. So that's it, you know, and then, yeah, our awesome sponsors, Tyra and Lenora, who, you know, love on us and definitely have just, and go ahead and who else? Lori and others. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's so many. I mean, we can't name all the names guys, but you guys know we are loving you genuinely and you know who you are. So yeah, that's it. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> So I, I would think this is such a great time to ask some questions um, because you've really been in the up and down journey. You've chased the people, you've not chased the people. You moved up, you moved back. I mean, I remember when we were there and we were looking at your 12-month your report and we saw at that point you were only going three deep. And we said, what, what's happening? How, what's the duplication? And we discovered that. So who's got a question? Maybe somebody who feels you know, you're in that journey and you'd like some advice and how do you keep so persistent? That's the one thing about Beverly and Johnny the whole time, even when they discovered things weren't working, at least when I was with them, they had that shining bright feeling of, we're still gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Yep. So anybody have a question? While you're getting ready, I just wanna say, put my two cents in on that, is that there's nobody in your upline or your sideline or your downline that didn't know you were gonna make it. <laughs> you that's just the energy you guys both put out and there is all just a matter of time so Thank good you. job yeah and I, I will say this real quick too um you know when i said life events happen guys one year literally in one in one year we had a partner have a divorce get a cancer diagnosis disease absolutely had a death of a spouse then we had a, a, a partner who decided to adopt a child and then get pregnant. So she came home with a two-year-old and a newborn. And then <laughs> the hurricane Matthew hit that year and displaced a couple of my partners. So that was a really tough year. Y'all, this business is simple, but it's not easy, okay? And if you can just get outside of yourself and get out of your way, okay? And when you're feeling down in the dumps and stuff, then just get out your selfishness because that's what I call selfish and care enough about people. People wonder how I stay so upbeat, how I say, well, I'm around amazing people and I don't have time for nonsense. If we're not talking about Jesus Juice Plus and how we gonna impact the world, we're not having a conversation, okay? <laughs> so I have a question. Great. Mm -hmm. um, this is Kristen Finley and my, well, first of all, I wanna say tomorrow's Veterans Day. So thank you for your service. Thank you. Um, and but um, I, I did want to ask, um, did you guys join the business together and or when is the right time to pull a spouse into I mean, when was the right time to pull a spouse into your team? So great question. No, we did not join together and we sh and we should have never joined. Johnny should have never joined when he did. OK, I do not recommend you pulling your spouse in until you probably make like uh, SSC QNMD. OK, that's the only time you're because working two legs is just too much, okay? Concentrate on the one leg, build a one, because we could have been NMDs a long time ago, technically, had we did it that right way, right? So don't try to bring your spouse in any earlier than, in my opinion, I think Chris, Nikki, you know, my leaders, Carolyn is on the line. She's a um, IMD um, sideline to us. Um, my, my, my sponsor is Bestie, but I, I, is that right? Yeah. I think senior sales to NMD. I might even wait longer, but that good thing to do is discuss it with your upline NMD and say, is now the right time and find out why, because there's certain times where you can use your partner's um, uh, promotions and there's times where you can't, depending on where your position is. So it's right. all about strategy, but I say, wait, because, you know, we used to say, wait till you NMD, make that fifth leg. Going to NMD is a good time to do it or after your NMD, really have a strong business. Mm -hmm. Good question. Thank you. Any more questions? So good, no questions. That's, I'm off the hook, we're off the hook. Wait, no, wait, wait. There might be somebody, if anybody raise your hand, let us know. You, you got her now, now's a great time. Okay, I'd like questions. to ask something. Hey, Dr. Delaney. Hey. Delaney, is that you? Yes, yes it is. Great. All right, go for it. All righty, I'm just asking for the sake of anyone who may be new, when you say a strong business, what do you, what do you mean by um, have a strong business before you bring a partner in. Definitely POB qualified, okay? And have POB qualifiers under you. That's a strong business. Yeah, you need a team with working legs and working legs means people who have a dream and have a goal for themselves. 
and they're driving their business independently of what you have to do to support them. Johnny, that's a great business answer. Driving independently. I once asked that of Bob Burdick. That's all of our upline. He used to, he used to say that I don't consider it a strong business until they're a 12 club. Oh. That was Bob Burdick's <laughs> answer. Just saying. Perspective. <laughs> that is perspective. perspective, exactly. <laughs> and that's, look, you guys, they have the, um, jo what is it? The uh, join us? I'm what is it? Come no, join what us. Is, oh, what is the- uh, Add more good. No, come no, join not, us oh. the Come join us the club. club. Yeah, the come join us club now. Yeah. So the company wants us to have solid businesses and solid business is 24 trio equivalent. That's a qualified business. So that they needs to be your target. If you're, if you're a QSC on this line and you're not PB qualified, you're missing, you're missing out. And we told people too, the other thing, Chris and Nikki, we left a lot of money on the table. And I don't want y'all leaving money on the table. Y'all, please maximize the pay plan. PB qualification is huge. Then once you start getting that um, sales coordinator and you need to be raising sales coordinators to get the, three, the POB 3%, then you don't want to miss it on your bib. You have to have structure. You have to have volume for that bib. So guys, you know, this is not a get rich quick, but it is stable and lasting for sure. And can really help you realize your dreams, just like the uh, mission and vision of the company says. So as you're bringing on new partners, you already want them looking at Express Tracking and Partner Plus and on to QSC from the get-go from day one. That's one of the things that you actually want them looking at so that when you give them that higher expectation, uh, at least if they fall short, they fall short, at least at the Partner Plus at the least. But if you tell them, hey, I just want you to get a couple of customers, that might be all they ever do. So you really are listen, losing out and so are they. And you heard Nikki say, it's strategy. Strategize and be smart. On how you build Kirsten, I, I've got a question. Oh, okay. Go on, Mariah. Then I thought go I ahead, you know, go first. Mariah, Mariah. Hi. It makes me emotional. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Like, really, it, I'm really, really proud of you. And I'm just so grateful that you're paving the path. Um, it's amazing how emotional I feel. I, like, right when I heard it, I'm sending her messages. And so my question is more selfish because 14 years now, and I saw the same thing when I went to my first conference, it was like, we've got to get some color out here. And, and it's always been a vision of mine, but the challenge is every time I've brought in women of color into the organization, there's, I, I don't really know where to send them where they're saying none of these videos are going to speak to my people. And so for those of us that are white individuals and we're bringing in team members of color, is there anything that you're doing in your organization that you can share or advice to give us of where we send our team members, obviously it's one team, one mission, and we're obviously yes. gonna invite them into everything that he does and everything we do personally. But I get it. You wanna see people that look like you and talk exactly. like you and you relate to, and I have often felt like I'm just at a loss. And so I'm wondering if you have any All advice right. so, there. So Mariah, I'm gonna throw you under the bus because have you ever reached out to me for a connection call? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Too hard. <laughs> well, I brought you into to big things and I and I brought you into when I set up that one you did. like big boxer you did. group with all women of color, I brought you, you into that and you did. Okay. You did. So, so, I, so yeah. it is really and we are bringing a lot to the table now. So there are a lot more. And if, if you go <clears throat> if you go to Juice Plus, um oh sorry, spotlight. Oh, such a joke, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The spotlight it gives an opportunity to see all the new faces that are coming across at the different promotion levels and so you get a chance to see that there are people moving up and just make, making their contacts when we get back to these face-to-face -face, uh, juice plus lives that's going to be an awesome time too whereby you get a chance to actually meet you know, other people in different parts of the country <laughs> doing different things doing to yourself too so. yeah but it is really just reaching out and asking and i'm going to open up the whole floodgates for sorry guys i just swallowed wrong or something but open up the floodgates for you guys to get connected so that people can see people of color because that is important because that was important to us because honestly we could have quit like you said they a lot of them quit because there is no connection and so that is what we've been trying to build as we come and it's happening and so take heart and just reach out because then if it's not me then they can speak to somebody that and we have becoming series remember the becoming series okay. so that's you to share with people I mean, we, I try to put all the events on the on the events um, boxer, so they see people of color and they can plug in. But yeah, really, just reach out because there's just yeah, there's so many leaders out there now that are coming, and it's exciting. It is very exciting. It really. So thanks, is. Mariah. Good question. Thank you, Kirsten. I saw you had a question. 
Yeah. Hi, Beverly and Johnny. Hey. We, we were Johnny. dancing together. Yes. <laughs> My Y'all dancing had a buddies. conference. April 15th to 17th, Phoenix, Arizona. God's willing, we're going to be there. We're going to be partying like rock stars. Let, let's party together. It's so good to see you too. And, and congratulations. I have a question. Um, I, I seem to have team members that kind of consistently get to this point before sales coordinator where they have to turn their skills. You know, these are people that are really uh, proficient with bringing on uh, uh, customers, but there's that personal development where you need to learn to attract team. And I just wonder if there are any personal development things or trainings or anything you could recommend for me to really shine on my team and help them through that. It's a, it's a pretty tough transition just a a big learning, you know? And a lot of it is really relationship building. Okay. You, you've got to, you got to care about people. They've got to feel that you really genuinely care. So really checking in on them. And then like when we came in, Chris and Nikki, that is what they did a lot of um, personal development. Well, professional, but it was personal because it was growing, you know, you individually and they, we used to do books, you know, every, almost like every month or something like that, we were reading a different book. And that four agreements is um, through this channel. And that was a huge game changer right there. And then we do team calls every week. Every week I have a team call. So we stay connected and then we go around and tell, you know, the highlights So what's going on, you know, in your business. And now let me say, if they have a great opportunity and a great passion for bringing on customers, eventually as they continue to you know, do customer care with those, those customers, they become Raven fans. And through that, they will probably know someone else who would love to experience the great things that they're experiencing too. And so you'll get with your sponsor uh, about how to make that transition to, you know, is there, you know, who else would you know that you might want to offer this opportunity to? And I know Team Heat does the GoPro series as well, which is another opportunity for us to for them to be able to see how to introduce the opportunity to uh, other persons as well for the in, uh, additional income. And really keeping them connected. Okay, you have to keep them connected. They have to be in the Voxer group. They have to be on the Facebook pages because they got to see it bigger than us. I don't want the team to see us. The team needs to see that this is a really bigger organization with way more you know, powerful and successful people. We're just, we're just all together on a journey, you know? But it is, you know, forming that, those relationships. Okay. And that's, what's going to take you to the top with them together, what they understand that what the goal and the mission is, and we want to do it together. And that's what happened this year for our team. And Beverly, I want to add to what Johnny said too, about GoPro is that for all of you, you know, GoPro is doing a free seven day recruiting and granted it's in the middle of the day, it's 90 minutes, but it's free. If you register, you've got 48 hours in which to watch each day, you can go back and watch it. And my question to people is, what if you only could watch 20 minutes of the 90 minutes? Would that help you? You, So people are so funny about what 100% commitment is. Somebody says to me, well, you know, I'm I'm 100% committed. And I say, what does that look like? If you said to me, you're going to always call one person every week and you do it every week, you're 100% committed to the one. You are 100% committed. But if you say you're going to call one a week and you don't, you don't. So if you if you can commit to even 20 minutes or a half hour or watch it within 48 hours, but that seven days is free. Starts tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. It's all over our Heat Team Facebook how to sign up. It's all over our Voxer chats. It's free. It's seven days. Take advantage of it. It's a recruiting <laughs> bonanza. <laughs> a little bit consistently is more than a whole bunch of nothing all the time. <laughs> I love that, Johnny. I, I want to throw in my two cents one more time. I know we're going a little over, but I love, you know, always loved you guys, loved your energy and your enthusiasm. And I thought one of the most important things that you said, and it might've gone over some people's heads, is that you, you engaged in this as a personal development program, cleverly disguised as a business. And so you kept raising your skills. Yep. You always had the enthusiasm. You always had the intent. You always had the focus, but you kept getting better and better and better. And I just want everybody on the, on this call to hear it. Some of you are going to say, I've heard this a lot from you, Chris, but (laughs) you do not, nobody on this call and nobody on your teams has to change who they are. They have to be who they are. And then it's practice, practice, practice. You're not going to be great in the beginning, but the more you do it, the more confidence you bring. And you know, you're, you've been so much fun watching this journey. Uh, And always, 
optimistic and enthusiastic. And like I said, everybody knew you're going to go to the top, but you kind of admitted, right, that you got to ha you had to have the skills and you developed the skills over time. What's that quote about you only reach the levels of your skill thing? You say that you never, right. never rise above your skill level in this. You never rise That's above right. your skill level. If you do, it's temporary. Yeah. Right. And you see that. How many people have you seen go to QNMD or whatever level and you go, well, here they go. And then they don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there they went. <laughs> but, <laughs> and, but until that skill level, you know, that personal growth catches you, catch up to the position. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Great, I have a question, job. real quick. Yeah, last Hi, question. My Hi. friend. Hey. Okay. Hey, Heidi. Hey, friend. How are you doing, girl? Good. Uh, so it took you 15 years, mm -hmm. right? My question is, was there, and you, you were on the roller coaster, right? Mm -hmm, definitely. Funny, I heard Warry say um, on a call today about people being a tourist in the fairground, staying mm -hmm. for, like going on one ride, being a little scared, jumping off, going on the baby ride and not going on the big, anyway, it was pretty cool. But what was the defining moment? Was there, or was there a defining moment when maybe your team wasn't really doing anything and then all of a sudden, boom. Was yes. there one specific defining moment? I'll start and I'll let her finish the answer okay. to most of your question. When we first started, remember, we were going through a medical challenge at the beginning. And so for those first seven or so years, you know, she had already you know, gone through her, her dad doing a whole bunch of businesses. Yeah. So she was kind of anti-relationship marketing altogether. Yeah. So it was one of those where you, I couldn't push, even though I knew it could work, whatever. We were just kind of like living life, telling a few people here or there. And it wasn't until uh, we actually deployed where things changed around. So. Yeah, that was one of the, the, the changing points, right? And then um, we, and I forgot to even mention in this call, we moved a lot, okay? So I had to rebuild relationships because we started in Augusta, Georgia. Two years later, we were in Savannah, Georgia. Then we t went for a short period in um, Fayetteville, North Carolina, then ended up back in Savannah, Georgia. And each of these places, now I'm telling y'all, like I made the next level at each of these places. And then now we're in Chesapeake, Virginia by Virginia Beach. And so this year I will give credit to COVID, unfortunately, right? Because that really was a game changer for our entire team, especially with the tower gardens, because people didn't know where their food sources was gonna come from. We had heard of stories where food deserts the stores got broken into and damaged. They could not even go grocery shopping. And so that set a fire truly on the team. And people understood then that uh, they got to take care of their, they can, can take control of their health. And so that was one of the game changers. But I'm going to tell you, Heidi, keep looking for that new, those new team, that no, those new team members are that's going to bring the energy to the team. And oh. that... Right, and that and then that energized, like I mentioned Latasha's name, her aunt is who brought her in. She had said no to the business for two years, okay? And then when she came in and then saw the bigger picture, then it was, a, okay, a no-brainer, this makes sense. And then we showed people how to follow that compensation plan and make actually some really good money. And one of the keys was getting everybody to move at the same time. We right. had, you know, superstars rise up and they fall, and another one's coming up and they drive down, but it's getting them all to move at the same time, so. And again, if you uh, you heard Johnny from the beginning say, if you don't know your why or why you're doing this business, okay, I tell people I am selfish. So Myra says selfish. I like being selfish, okay, because my selfish is a win-win for everybody. Yeah. I selfishly want healthy friends as we age. And let me just plug this too. What I really love watching Nikki and Chris and Lenora and Carolyn and Leela, I got to mentor Leela Covey and Tyra and Carolyn, those friendships over the years have just been amazing to watch. They, they, they know each other's families. Now that actually some of the other leaders, kids are marrying each other, which is really awesome. So for me, it is, it, this is such an amazing opportunity for anybody to plug into. You just have to have the drive and desire and the willpower to say, I wanna do it. And guess what? You have the support and it will happen in the right time, in God's time. Totally. Thank you so much. That was Perfect. brilliant. You're welcome. Incredible. Well, we're going to wrap this up. I don't even yes. know how to put a bow around this. It's the whole <laughs> entire call for me has been a bow. My heart is just singing for you two. I mean, we've been, we've been watching you. We've been 
Even though we don't talk often, Beverly, you're so often and Johnny in our thoughts. Seriously. Thank you. And I know the rest of the people, I know a lot of my team feels like that about you. And um, I just really want to thank you and congratulate you. And we look forward to our HEAT team becoming more and more diverse in yes. all areas, young, old, from all over the world. That's all That's I right. can imagine. And I think that that makes everything, um, so, talk about one team, one mission, right? That's right. That pulls it in all together. So yeah. I want to thank- We are the world. We are the world. Jay Martin, you played that We Are the World song. Juice oh, yeah, Company. That makes me cry. That's right. Me too. And the Juice Plus right. Company can represent that. And we yeah. need to be representing that. We need to be the example that we want the rest of the world to follow. And it's happening, y'all. It's happening. So, what I want everybody to do is unmute your mics and just one or two words. What comes to mind when you think of Beverly and Johnny? Give them a <laughs> shout out. Inspiration. Oh, oh, inspiration. Uh, yes, energy. Great energy. Black.